Finally tonight, a touching ceremony is taking place on a military base in Norfolk to remember a hero of the Second World War. Ulrich Cross left his home in Trinidad in 1941 to join the bomber squadron at RAF Marham. Over 70 years later, his family have reunited to hear his amazing story, as Ian Woods reports. Up. Ulrich Cross became a national hero in Trinidad. So well known, his story was turned into a movie. He left his Caribbean home to join the RAF in 1941. He became a navigator, squadron leader, and was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. This was him in a wartime broadcast. Well, West Indies, it's a job to know where to start. I am attached to one of our own bomber squadrons, but there are so many of us doing so many different things. Pilots, navigators, wireless operators, air gunners, ground staff. We are being reminded of his story as part of Black History Month, with his family invited back to RAF Marham, where he used to be based. Too late for him, he died in 2013. I always say better late than never. I mean, I'm not a great um, fan of Black History Month, to be honest, because I think it should be black history all day, every day, forever. And you're right, it is too late. But it is great that it's happening now. And uh, bring it on, let it happen more and more. The event also honoured other servicemen from Commonwealth countries. The Black History Month theme, time for change, actions, not words. The squadron leader Cross fully embodied those words when he stated his reason for joining the RAF in that the world was drowning in fascism and America was not yet in the war, so I decided to do something about it. I'd like to mention the grand work the Air Sea Rescue Boys are doing. Ulrich Cross went on to become a lawyer and a diplomat before returning to London as Trinidad's High Commissioner, his place in history assured. Ian Woods, ITV News.